questions and answers about Islam. Peace of Christ to all of you. Please copy this video and change the name and the tags and post it all over in YouTube. If we ask Muslim questions as the following, why Allah created the human? Muslim answer, to worship him. We are the slaves of Allah. This answer alone is enough for us to know that the God of Islam is mentally sick. He created us to worship him. We are the slaves of Allah. So the God of Islam is not the same as the God in Christianity. The God of Christianity, he created us because he loves us and he wants us to be the children of God. The God of Islam, the reason of creating you, to abuse you, to worship, bow down. Bow down, you are my slave. So when you accept Islam, you accept to be abused and you accept to be a slave of someone, his name is Allah. You have no choice to say, I am not a slave and I don't want to be a slave. You are the slave of Allah. You bow down and you worship him. And this is a proof that the God of Islam is the God of slavery. He is and he is the only sources of slavery because he exists before a human, right? So the white man, he is not the one who made slavery. It is the God of Islam because he created everyone as a slave from the beginning. The religion of slavery. This is why slavery is approved in every page in the Quran. And Muhammad himself, he was a slave trader. Actually, one of his names was the slave seller. How you worship Allah? The Muslim will say, we bow down to the Kaaba. And we pray on time, five times a day, to the erection of the Kaaba. Why you bow down to the Kaaba? Remember in here, the bowing down, it's not just bowing down for God who exists everywhere. No, you bow down to a direction. A Muslim, he cannot bow down to different direction to Allah. There is one direction only, which means he is worshipping an idol and that idol is the Kaaba. Because if your God is not in the Kaaba, why you bow down to the Kaaba? Do your God Allah live in the Kaaba? The answer is no. So why you pray to that direction? Are you praying to God or to Kaaba? Oh no, we pray to God, but you have to do it to the Kaaba. The Kaaba is one of the most important part of Islam. If this part is missing, Islam is, is gone. And you know, if you think about it, this is small cubic. Can that small cubic represent Allah really? If God is exists and he is the God of this huge universe, what is the Kaaba? It's not even a piece of dust. It is not even in the size of a dust for in the, if you compare it to the size of this universe. Why everybody have to pull down to it? And why Muhammad, he used to pray to the direction of Jerusalem most of his life after he claimed to be a prophet, and in one day he flipped flap. Suddenly, he turned his butt to Jerusalem and his face to Kaaba, when all his life before was his face to the Jerusalem and his butt to the Kaaba. Isn't it amazing? And why you have to pray on time? What is the idea of praying on time? Do your God Allah work as a boss? If you miss it, you miss it? Simply, praying on time, it's a way of Muhammad to be sure that the slaves is doing it correctly, which means they are obeying him. In his time, he used to force everybody to go to the mosque to pray in front of him. He want to see them. He want to see them. The mosque prayer is, the, is a prayer of every Muslim. The praying in the street, if you are far away from a mosque, this is when the Muslim community became big. But in the time of Muhammad, everybody, it's a small village, everybody had to show up in the mosque. And he looked at his men to see if any one of them is miss missing. So he punished him. He check on him. Why you don't show up? Are you rejecting me as a prophet? And then the answer is death. Because as we know, apostasy in Islam, the punishment is death. Why Allah cannot have a son? We ask Muslims. The answer? <laughs> the answer in the Quran. How Allah can have a son if he never have a girlfriend? Very smart answer. Allah is telling me in his Quran, hey Christian, 
I don't have a son because I never have a girlfriend. This is showing me how stupid the one who made the Quran. Because what this have to do with me as a Christian, believing in Christ, he is the son of God. Because simply in this verse in here is talking to the Christian, saying to them, I have no son. Why? Because I never have a girlfriend. The fool who wrote this verse, telling us he do not know anything about Christianity, because if you are answering me, who is the Christian who believed that Christ is a son of Mary from marriage with God? Who is the Christian he believe that Mary she have sex with God so she get Jesus? Who is the Christian who don't believe even that she is not a virgin? This is why we call her the Virgin Mary. You see how ignorant the one who made the Quran? He is proving to us that he have no son by saying, I never have a girlfriend. Everything in Islam is about sex. Even the answer, sex is involved. And what kind of God he will say to us, I never have a girlfriend. I think the God of Islam is watching too much of American movies about boyfriend and girlfriend and he got the idea from there. Why Christianity is wrong? They worship a man, his name is Jesus. We worship only one God. Now we will talk later about how many God they have and we can show you. But let us go with the idea of one God. So for being a man with a body you reject Christ as God, they say yes. So Allah have a body? Do Allah have a body? The answer is yes. Many verses in the Quran say he have a body, he have hands, he have eyes, he have fingers, and he have a leg. Is Allah a spirit or do he have a spirit? No, he is not a spirit and he have no spirit. So Allah has a body but he has no spirit and he is not a spirit? The answer is yes. But the one who have body and he has no spirit is a dead body. Muslim answer, no, 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 Allah is alive, but his body and he has no, he have a body, but he, he, you know, he has no spirit. He is unlike anything. He is not like us. If Allah is unlike anything, I do think, do Allah think? Answer, no. I told you, Allah is unlike anything. You think he don't think. Allah is unlike anything, but he has a leg. Muslim answer, yes, but his leg is not like yours. So the Muslims rejected Jesus to be God, but their God is just a leg. So why you rejected Jesus as God? At least Christ have the body of a man, your God, he have a body of a beast. As you are saying to me, he is a leg, he have hands, and he have eyes. Imagine a leg have hands and eyes. This is scary. What is the reward of a Muslim? 72 women, 300 boys, and all the food he wish, and whatever he wish to have. This is for the man, and his wives on earth in the top of this. So even his wives, there will be a reward for the Muslim man in heaven, which means the women in Islam did not have a reward. The only reward they have, they will be with their husbands, which is going to be shared with a lot of women. And by the way, this is the lowest reward of Muslim men in heaven, the 72 women. Hadith of Musnad Ahmad, this is the website of Saudi Arabia, hadith number 10511. There is seven floors in the heaven of Allah, and the lowest reward of a Muslim man is, he will have 300 boys servant, and they or he will have 300 dish of food and 72 women each one of them her butt is one mile size amazing even their butt is so special size one mile I know the Arab people at that time they used to have to love that the, 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 the women she have a big butt there is many songs still in the tradition of, of, of Arabia about the women she is fed. The much you are fed, the much you are wanted. If you are, if you are skinny, nobody will marry you. You are sick. You are disgusting. So 72 women is the lowest reward. He said, Adna ahla jannah manzila. The lowest reward of the people of heaven is 72 women. And the 300 boys. So if you are a good Muslim, you will have maybe billions of, Muslim, of, of, of women. And in here, the reward alone 
is enough to show us that the God of Islam is more sick because even the reward is slaves, 300 slave boys and 72 slaves of women all made for sex. The slaves of sex, Allah the God of slaves, from the beginning he created you as a slave and your reward as a slave. This is what Islam, we don't want it, you take it. Christ is Lord, Islam is filthy, made by a dummy for dummy, Amin.